<laughs> oh my god. Excuse me. All right, guys, welcome back. Once again, we have my lovely girlfriend, Ray, here. And this time, we're going to get her reaction to some classic drum videos, some, some drum solos. Um, we're going to be doing another one um, later, maybe another part to this, where she's reacting to some more classic old school jazz videos. But for right now, just a few drum videos, and we'll get her reaction to them. You guys will see them up on screen, and I'm going to show Ray these videos on the iPad. So, without further ado, let's get to it. I did grow up playing the drums, so I'm very, I'm very excited to watch these. Alright, so we're going to start off with this video. Um, this is with Wynn Marsalis with Ali Jackson on the drums, which we have a new course with Ali Jackson, which you guys can check out in the description. Um, this is from the tune What a Little Moonlight Can Do with Wynn Marsalis and Richard Galliano. Now we'd like to go back into the Billie Holiday songbook. It gives us a chance to feature our magnificent drummer, Mr. Ali Jackson. This piece is entitled, ooh, ooh, The accordion's a little bonus for you. Oh, what there's an accordion? Like That's Richard Galliano. I'm sorry, did he say it's called, ooh? No, it's called What a Mi Little Moonlight Can Do. Oh. Oh my god, the accordion makes you so happy. That wasn't the intent, but then it was like a little bonus. <laughs> Close up on Dan Miller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Excuse me. That was insane. Yeah. So it was pretty interesting, uh pretty cool solo. He straight up was like, like yeah, so if you hit the center of the tom, like that's how you make the noise and Ali was like he was like, nah fam. He hit everything but that. Yeah. That was so cool. I would never have thought to even like with like the top of the hi hat, mm -hmm. I would never would have thought like, let me hit that a couple times and see how that sounds. Yeah, no, Ali's great for um like just, you know, experimenting and, and trying out these sounds and you really get the vibe there. Is stuff like that in the in the course? Well, he's not talking specifically about all of those Cool drum tricks. Cause it's cool. <laughs> that's that's some Ollie special. In the course, he's laying down just like some essential grooves. But I mean, you can get from that to doing what he's doing in that video. Yeah, he goes through essentials. That's and, and super he has cool. Some variations, but 
um, just since I know you'll want to see this, I'm going to skip ahead to the... Uh, I love that. I'm going back to the, to the accordion. To the accordion solo. <laughs> so I haven't heard the accordion solo, but I know you want to check it out. I'm so happy. I love accordions. I don't know why. I love them so much. I bet he's so fast at typing on a typewriter. <laughs> he sort of reminds me of, um, I don't know what the actor's name is, but he was in Lord of the Rings and he was in that TV show Fringe. Um, the, the king that was oh, that's yeah, like kind of yeah. turns evil yeah he kind of looks like yeah him. he does i think i like accordions it, it makes me feel like it like i'm in like a pixar movie mm. it's so fun ah! <laughs> you see when he's face there he's like oh my gosh He's his tongue coming out. Like, ooh, that's tasty. Hey guys, I'll definitely have the uh, links to all of these videos in the description as well, so you can check out the full, full video at your leisure. buttons on there, how does he even know what he's doing? He's just dancing on the keys. Cause it's not, it's not like a... <laughs> it's not like a piano where you can like easily like look down to see like what you're, t you're, you're hitting. It has some similarities. It has some similarities to piano. I'm not exactly sure how he's recording stuff. It's such right. a fun carny instrument. I love so, that. So that's our first first video for you. The next one we have is this drummer, Paul Wertico. And we're going to check that out. I have to fast forward a little bit while we wait for this YouTube ad. Um, you guys can get these shirts on our website. We have a bunch of different jazz meme shirts and jazz memes merch. So, All right, we're ready. All right, so this is Paul Wertico, 1997 drum solo. I don't think we've seen a drum solo like this before. I guess we'll see. Just cuts to that. What is that? What? <laughs> <laughs> There's the med tube sheet technique. No. <laughs> this looks like he's playing with PVC pipes. All right, so 
that's the uh, the fur all work though. What? <laughs> the the feet were were very chaotic. So a lot of drummers will push on the the tons or to different keep it, spots. Is it to keep it from? No, because you can change the pitch. So if you push oh. on it while you hit it, depending on how how much pressure you're putting, it changes the tension on the drum head, and so you can get different pitches. But I feel like that would be so hard to do if you're sitting. I feel like it would be so hard to like leverage how like knowing how much pressure well, you need to put like so, in order yeah, to hit it, it since perfectly. Since he's doing it with two hands, instead of using one hand to change the the pitch, I know, but like yeah. like I feel like I wouldn't be able to figure out how much pressure I would need on my foot. I don't know that he was figuring it out. Oh, he was just like, we're just wilding he was, out. He was just, <laughs> he was going with it. All right, and then for That's our... It's fucking crazy. It, it's pretty crazy. Um, the last, last video we have is from the drummer Duffy Jackson, who we actually knew personally because he taught a little bit at the Young Musicians Camp down here in Miami. Um, he passed away recently, but he is also well known for playing with the Count Basie Orchestra. And his dad was a famous bass player as well, um, Chubby Jackson. So we're going to check that, Once again, that the out. Once again, the Count Basie Orchestra under the direction of Frank Foster. <laughs> off his head. I like want to move with him on the side. So cool. He, that homie put he's, he's, everything into that. He's quite a performer. Uh, that's what I was gonna say. I I love when like musicians like play into that. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna have to go crazy. I'm gonna make crazy faces. So he's like, let me play. Let me take off my jacket. Let me let me like mm -hmm. loosen up my tie. I think that's fun, making it like a performance like that. He had a bunch of different um, little Duffy isms. One of the ones that he did a lot when we were performing, like when he performed. Um, and people would applaud. He would do this like simultaneous. No, 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 no. It's all, and then at the same time do this. Like, no, no, I can't yeah. <laughs> so he did. He had that as. That's like a, I love that. That's a classic little Duffy. I feel like that's so important as a performer to like figure out, like little things that you can do to mm -hmm. like make the audience like you even more. Just like your personality coming through. That's so fun. Yeah. So he's a great one. To I love that. Learn some stage presence. Yeah. What a performer. All right, so that's those are the videos I have for you. For I, uh, lo I loved that. <laughs> for Ray reacts to these uh, jazz drum videos. That was so cool. But stay tuned for the next one, guys. We're gonna do a, a part two, um, and that one's gonna be a blast as well. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel, and I appreciate your support. Bye. Thanks, Ray. <laughs>